Greetings. The Psalmist in Psalm 85 verses 6 to 7, 9 to 12 prayed, Will you not revive us again so that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Surely your salvation is at hand for those who fear you, that your glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. As children of God, playing our part first means praying our part. That is, our loving action depends on our prayerful relationship with God. I'm sure that as we look toward our 60th year of political independence and 188th year of emancipation from enslavement, prayers of thanksgiving will exude for how far we have journeyed as a people in this land we love but I exhort us to intercession I encourage us to continue to ask seek and knock and stand in the gap for our nation and our land as a people we continue to break the heart of our God who loves us more extravagantly than our minds can comprehend even as we continue to waste our time, talent, and treasure worshiping other gods. In 2009, the government launched Vision 2030, a 21-year development plan to make Jamaica the place of choice to live, work, raise families, and do business. This year, 2022, is the 13th year since its launch and there is a sense in which we have stagnated and been hampered by many potholes along the journey including the pandemic but the source of all grace still hovers patiently watching and waiting for us to come to our senses individually and collectively and to choose him and his ways above all others. So, as we pray the Lord's Prayer daily, may it never become routine, but be prayed in all sincerity and truth. May we forgive others as we pray God's forgiveness of us for all the ways we have faltered selfishly and obstinately. May we also pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit to rekindle our hearts. And may God, in God's mercy, embrace us and grant us every good gift, including the precious and powerful gift of the Spirit of God. Thus rekindled, may the love of God constrain us as we pray and play our parts by spreading scriptural holiness to reignite this nation for greatness. Happy Emancipation and Independence Celebrations from Reverend Alison Eitan.